One of the most important things to look for in a microphone specification is its signal to noise ratio or SNR. It is because SNR determines how clean the microphone's output signal will be. To select the microphones with the cleanest sound quality and minimum noise, you should aim for a microphone with the highest possible SNR value. So, what is signal to noise ratio? It is the ratio of power of signal to the power of noise. Signal is the meaningful input and noise is the unwanted input to the microphone. The unit of power is in watts or milliwatts. The ratio of two identical units, that is watts, will cancel each other and make SNR a pure number. However, if you will look at microphone specification, SNR is expressed in decibel. A logarithmic decimal scale makes it more easy to understand because audio signals have a very wide dynamic range. Therefore, SNR in decibel is equal to 10 times log to the best 10 of power of signal in watts divided by power of noise in watts. Using the quotient rule for logarithmics, SNR in decibel is equal to 10 times log to the best 10 of power of signal in watts minus 10 times log to the base 10 of power of noise in watts. In other words, SNR in decibel is equal to power of signal in decibel minus power of noise in decibel. The microphone manufacturers use one Pascal sound pressure with a standard 1 kHz sine wave for testing microphones. The one Pascal is same as 94 decibel SPL, and it is used for the meaningful signal. Therefore, SNR is equal to 94 decibels SPL minus power of noise in decibel A. Now, let's look at some examples. Looking at the spec of Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone, the noise is expressed in equivalent noise level rather than SNR. That is just the power of noise in decibel. Or if you would look at Comica TraxShot microphone, it is expressed in SNR. And if you want to get to the equivalent noise level, just subtract 60 from 94 and you will get 34 decibel A noise level. Microphones with an SNR value of 74 decibel and higher are considered good and hence more expensive. You could get away with a lower SNR if your recording a loud sound source such as kick drum, trumpet, etc. This is because the difference between the noise and the useful signal increases, which in turn diminishes the effect of noise to the overall audio output. On the other hand, it is impractical to have a microphone with an SNR value of 94 decibel. But if you want to record a very soft sound source, then SNR of 84 decibel and above gives an unnoticeable level of self-noise. Very low noise microphones are also called field microphones with an SNR value of 78 decibel and above. One of the quietest microphones that I've come across is Sennheiser MKH 70 shotgun microphone with a whooping SNR of 89 decibel and a price tag of 1750 US dollars. SNR is relevant only to active microphones because of the inherent presence of self noise in active microphones. It doesn't mean that if you would record with a passive microphone in a noisy environment, the mic won't pick up any noise. SNR is explicitly referred to the self-noise of the microphone and not the external noises. The self-noise is generated by electronic components of the microphone itself, 
directly or indirectly. Directly means when the desired signal passes through different components of the mic, it gets distorted and hence generate a direct noise. Or the electronic components of the mic itself produce a noise that is captured by the microphone's capsule and hence adding to the total noise of the microphone indirectly. I hope this video helped you to better understand signal to noise ratio in a microphone. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. To learn more about microphones, please watch my other videos in here. And in order to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.